Deku wakes up. Immediately seeing um his organs. His everything being meddled with in front of him. Basically, he had been through so much trauma he didn't even remember what just happened. As he comes to again, the lights kind of blur blur out his eyes. As he looks straight forward, he sees Toga standing there over him. He can't help but ask her what she's doing. Well, he couldn't even speak. It was the one problem. Except she shushed his lips anyways. Bending down, she looked him dead in the eyes. Saying, you know, it'd be so easy to kill you right now. <laughs> but... That would be rude of me. It was impressive, you know. You almost escaped. Oh, your friends were so happy. Oh, the joyous looks on their faces. It was so good to wipe them off. You killed them? No, no, I didn't. Not yet, at least. <sighs> you bastards. I'm breaking out of here. You know that, right? All of you. Basically, Toga doesn't take any offense to this. She just laughs in his face constantly whenever he says this, kind of like taunting him. But she also sticks around every single time that he gets out of his, you know, sleep. Long sleeps. Whenever he wakes up, she will be there now, greeting him at the start of his day. Getting out of bed, um, the doc one of the doctors comes in. Crazy mad doctors. Ones that... He almost enjoyed being around. They were the nicest people around there. Although he wanted to get out as fast as he could, nevertheless. They greeted him, telling him that he has a new arm. Yes, yes, a new arm. This one. Eh, it should give you enough power to even rival our dear leader. Who, by the way, you're going to be practicing against. Practicing? What do you mean? Off you go. They just leave him out. He becomes friends with the doctors later. I'll, I'll, I'll more on that later. Once he gets into the, he's thrown into the underground, gigantic arena that was created specifically, almost for him. Every place had a hiding spot. Every, every spot had some sort of way to hide. It was amazing. He saw opportunities in everything, until all for one came out. His sheer power just. Over overwhelmed him. His a he let his anger explode, however, charging at all for one constantly, over and over again, trying to slice off his head using his scythe, but nothing, until his scythe broke and then he was punched into the ground, knocking him out. He wakes up again, being for um, having improvements to his arm, using it using the arm to launch himself at all for one. This time dodging behind all for one. Coming down with a massive blow to his, to his back, planting a bomb on his spine. He kicks All for One away. As All for One looks up cheekily, staring down at him, all still proper, until Deku laughs and uses an explosion on his back, launching him far, farther and farther away until he smashes into the wall. All for One laughing, he says. <laughs> Day after day of this, I mean, um, they continue fighting. Um, Deku, of course, loses most of his fights, almost all of them, to the point where he's really sad. He can't beat him, but yet his pride drives him forward. Everything that he's been taught by Alpha One seems to drive him forward. His lessons seem to seep in, seem to work. Everything that he tells him seems to be correct. Everything he knew before was failing him. Stepping up for others, trying to help the others, would get you killed in this camp. Everyone else there wouldn't even care about him. Friendship isn't a thing. People are distant. The only sort of thing that he has like that is Toga. And she's barely keeping him, him sane. One day when he wakes up, again for his training... He sits up, saying, I want more. 
more kid appears um off one how would you want more <sighs> i'm already giving you all that i can how would you give how would you take more from this <sighs> Let me prove it. Let me prove everything. Prove what, kid? Everything doesn't subject a category. Come on, kid. Give it up. Become my protege. If I become your protege, will you let me go? Let me go out there and kill all of them. Kill all of them? Now, kid, don't try to leave. Trust me, I'm not such such an idiot where I would let you just simply leave. You're here. Where else in the world would you rather be? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Toga starts laughing in the corner. <laughs> Everybody, psychological torture, as you might imagine, towards Deku. Deku's had enough! One final fight. Really, kid? You fought me almost 30 times. Shit, it's really been that much. No! I will win. And when I do, I'm leaving. Sure, kid. The doctors come out. No, 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 not in here. Not in here. You'll disturb my work. Come on. Go back to your filthy arenas. God, plebeians. As all for one, um, has the teleporting cure Giri got dude teleport them to the arena. They both stand staring at each other. Finally, all for one says, Finally, your rage has unlocked. I can feel it. You're gaining. Shut up! As he as he dashes straight at him, again, using his arm as propulsion. With an upper strike with with his sweat on um, coated on his scythe, he, he does an upper strike down that would slice off all for one's head. But all for one catches it, reflecting it back with 12 tentacles that come launching out of the ground, trying to strike him out of the air as he dro dodges back. And yet he slices all of them in half. Jumping straight back at Alpha One. They clash again and again and again, headbutting. They start clashing in the air as Alpha One summons a guard, a de dead dread knight guard that he had used his undead quirk to rise. A type of soldier firing, firing a. Hmm, what weapon should it be? Shit. You know what? <sighs> Shotgun, fuck it. Shooting a hmm, double barrel at him. Deku runs down, slicing the the end off, um, the double barreled in half, grabbing his face and smashing into the ground. All of your little tricks and things aren't going to stop me from killing you. Come on then, kill me. Oh! As he jumps as hard as he can, his 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 fear toxins are broken by this point. All of the fear that had been spread into the air, sh the shockwave causes them to explode from under him, launching him up into the air. I know it's kind of weird, but you'll get it later. He punches Alpha One right in the stomach, throwing his scythe up in the air. He activates a a rocket on the on the bottom of it changing the scythe into a sword in the middle of the air he ju he jumps up, up farther than it kicking it down to the ground well it changed into a spear not a sword launching it straight down to the ground a gigantic shockwave is heard from all throughout the cavern as everybody stares at what they think would be the death of all for one. But all for one stares. Look, I back up at him. The wound in his stomach now slicing him in half. 
Deku stares in un unbelievably shocked face. He can't kill him. What is this? What is your quirk? What is this? As all for one starts laughing again. <laughs> you would have killed me if it wasn't for undead. <laughs> Time to go to sleep now, kid. As he st as like half of his face starts to bulge out, a craziness starts to overtake all for one. It starts to grow mass muscles upon muscles. It was muscle. Uh, you know the muscle guys regrow thing. Yeah, he took it. He starts to grow and grow and grow. Suddenly he bulges as left his left side starts to overspill with with muscles. It's cancer cells. Damn it! <laughs> he spits out plenty of blood as Deku snaps himself back into reality. He runs straight at Alpha One. As all for, all for one's bloated body struggles to get up, but the sh but as he throws a punch, it, it has the force of what like a megaton behind it. Can you imagine? Uh, not a megaton, just like maybe a ton. Punching, um, breaking the the scythe that Deku had been using this whole time in half. Deku stares down at all for one. Maybe she, he should kill him out of pity. Kicking him in the face. Straight across the face. He had ejected a... A, um... A little thing in his boot. Uh, a knife in his boot. The tip of his boot. Where whenever he would kick somebody so hard with his... With his, uh... Foot. It would eject a knife and it would, like... Fuck up their face. <laughs> so now with... All for one trying to heal his... His... Um his wound on his face which had his jaw hanging out of his mouth just like hanging out there freaking hell Deku charges back at him they clash again but all for, but all for one even with his bloated and diseased body now is still able to overpower Deku this is the power this is the sacrifice of power kid don't you see it revel in it then revel Dirty scum! As he, as he throws down a gigantic meteorite punch, as he calls it, hardening all of his body. As he jumps straight above Deku, hardening his body, making him go farther and faster to the ground. Everyone thinking that Deku is dead. Breathe a sigh of relief that finally they don't have to fear him anymore. As he had generally made a spread fear around the whole factory making everybody their discomfort um maximize and stuff they didn't even know he was there anyways but then suddenly all for one wouldn't move nothing would move they actually dared one another to go and poke all for one first one to die gets 50 bucks <laughs> Suddenly, the teleport dude po pokes off of one. Off of one barely looks up as his eyes are petrified, staring at the ground. He sees something they don't. He sees insanity, greed, everything, all these sins around him. And then Deku rising from the dust. Unhurt, unharmed. His arm, his his metal arm, still untouched. Perfect metal. Nothing he did did anything. Even his worst punishments couldn't kill his own his own protege. He shriveled up to a ripe grapefruit. I mean, um, a prune. An old man, weak, unafraid. Well, afraid of everything. Scared. Alone. Never given life. An all for one standing above. One for all standing above him, laughing. And 
with all the people cheering him on. He sits there, staring down. Deku gets out from under all for one's petrification. <sighs> Laughing a bit to himself. <coughs> but spitting out plenty of blood. <sighs> Unlucky. He missed my heart. The one thing he could kill me with. Oh, I'm gonna need some transfusions after this. But finally, your time is done. The, my sweat has finally seeped into him. He's dead now. <laughs> well, not yet, exactly. Picking up his broken, his broken scythe, he upholds it, slicing down with the force of all those who lived in the fact uh, in the underground. All for one's head, rolling on the ground. Deku picks it up, holding it up to the rest of the crew, saying, I'm his protege, right? Fuck that. We're running things my way now. Oh, but first, healing motherfuckers. Now. As, um, yeah, they heal him up. Deku basically takes over the underground. Um spreading fear throughout all the caverns and, you know, letting his, his, um, this kind of upgrades his kind of, uh, his sweat to, like, a maximized level where he can basically spread it throughout wherever he is, like a spore. And, um, he's healed up by the medical engineers and he has to be in, like, a back to tank or some shit, you know, like, one of those miracle shits to, like, get him back up for like a month because Jesus Christ all for one messed him up I mean one punch from that was like a truck just running over you and yeah no he had to get his leg repaired he had to get his arm repaired he mostly used his arm to block all the use as defense to block all of the you know major hits which it properly blew up in his face but yes so after that um, he claimed himself the ruler of the underground. The new Alpha One. No, not the new Alpha One. I'm Scarecrow. No one is like me. I will not be like him. A new age of villains. Ones without fear. That starts off with all of you. He is making this announcement in the underground. Um, huge underground cities um, that are under the major cities of black markets and stuff. And he's making this this kind of royal beseech to all of them. He's like, my rule shall be one without fear. And that starts with this place. Everybody kind of cheers a little bit, but also scared of him. He says, you feel fear. You all feel fear. <laughs> Wakelings. As um, suddenly he raises his hands, um, spores start to come out, covering the whole place. He had also set up spore traps around them, spreading fear throughout the populace. They all start to hang their heads in fear, all staring at the ground, all going insane, bashing into each other, screaming. He walks away with his troop. They had gotten used to the spores and were resistant to it. They feared nothing now. Toga is his right-hand woman. He went on to, to watch everything that went on in the underground, controlling it. He became what would be known as the Scarecrow of the Underneath, the one who watches all. The one who protects, and the one who everybody fears, the Scarecrow. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching that. Um, that'll be, I think, that'll be, that might be the end of it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go farther with that one. 
tell me that in the comments down below if you want me to continue this one. I might continue it. Um, I don't know. Maybe if there's enough comments. But, yeah. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Um, 